صفى الأنين بداخلي كم مرة قد ذاق قلبي من أساه محبته وكم كرهت مصابها لكن رأيت الخير يسكب في أنا كم مرة قد ذقت من عظم البهاء بشر وشيء الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين ما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Classic Tukfiris or Ultra Najdis in fact are not the brightest creatures on the planet and most notably um, Hassan Shimrani the thick skull Najdi, Najdi um, you know can't digest the fact that who he has been attempted to defend are ultimately responsible for the phenomenon of ISIS and their likes. Now, once again, before he starts moaning like a little brat, that I have already confirmed that he does not support ISIS. He does not support any terrorist group. He does not sympathize with them. Rather, he condemns them and he makes it clear that they are misguided. The problem we have is the spiritual forefather or godfather, Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab and the early Da'wah al-Najdiyya are ultimately responsible for this phenomenon that we see today in form of these extremist groups. And this is where the inconsistency lies. They expose and refute the takfiris, but then look up to Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab who is the ultimate source and inspiration for this particular Da'wah. Now, What I always have said and I've maintained is that I am a great below student of knowledge and I even went as far as saying, which is not even, you know, uh, humbleness, it's fact that my Arabic is between beginner and intermediate. And regardless of all the insults, the taunts, the accusations, it doesn't change the fact that Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab and the early Da'wah al are the forefather of ISIS. Call me whatever you want. The fact remains, and it doesn't change, that he is the ultimate Godfather of the extremists that we see today. He is the root, he is the source, he is the inspiration. Now, what they're trying to do, and again, this is where it gets ridiculous, is that they always point to the fact that, you know, my Arabic, my Arabic, and that says they're like a broken record. And I even went as far as saying that, look, yeah, my Arabic is between beginners and intermediate, you know, no problem. I could admit that and it needs improving. But they want to flog a dead horse, which is fine. Hassan Shimrani, the thick skull Najdi, Um, obviously, you know, with the videos that we're releasing, showing him that, look, and he, he has, you know, he, he is the spawn of the da'wah of Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab. He is the spawn, you understand what I mean? He's carrying on the legacy. Um, and again, in terms of the takfir element, because he's a closet takfir, he's not that brave. So watch this video, and honestly, it just shows the desperation. The brothers who sent me the video were like, Haji, you know, we can't assess or, you know, deduce what they're trying to accuse you of. Because if, you, they, if they are alleging you use Google Translate, then what they inputted in the English and how it was translated is totally different to what you added in your community tab post. So what are they accusing you of? If I use Google Translate, then how is it that Google Translate is different to what I input in my community tab? So what they're trying to, you know, it's just so childish and... What they don't know is these utter morons. Or what I input in the community tab was a statement of Imam al-Dahabi when he was commenting okay, on the biography of Ibn al-Arabi. Okay? And that translation, you know, 
that if there is no kufr in the, the book al-fusus meaning that's where the statement comes from for my dunya kufr uh, and there is no kufr in the dunya that, that's exactly the translation so as you can see on screen we've got the book sir alam al by imam al-dahabi okay and as you can see he's commenting under the uh, biographer of ibn arabi and the book fusus okay uh, fusus al-hikam and he mentions and it's not me you know making stuff up I took this from Imam Dhabi and he mentions the quote that I put up. فَإِن كَانَ لَا كُفْرَ فِيهِ فَمَا فِي الدُّنْيَا الْكُفْرِ فَمَا فِي الدُّنْيَا الْكُفْرِ That if in this book there is no kufr, okay, in the book Fusus al-Hikam or Al-Fusus, then there is no kufr in the dunya. That statement that I, uh, that sort of uh, screenshot that I put up that, you know, help us al-ghawth, etc. I m- use that in connection to the statement Imam Dhabi used of Al-Fusus. So if this statement that I put up from the, the extreme Sufis about Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani helping us, if there's no kufr in this statement, there is no kufr in the dunya. I took it from Imam Dhabi. So what are you trying to say? Like, did Imam Dhabi not understand Arabic? Because that's the statement that I took from this particular uh, biography. It's all <laughs> so it's like, I don't quite understand. I did not use Google Translate. Rather, I used the quote from Imam Dhabi. When he was commenting on the biography of Ibn Arabi. Okay. فَإِن كَانَ لَا كُفْرَ فِيهِ فَمَا فِي الدُّنْيَا كُفْرٌ Okay, that's what I used and exactly what I typed. So, how did I use Google Translate, you absolute buffoons? I added, فَإِن لَمْ يَكُنْ كُفْرْ فِيهِ Like, you just say, that was the correct construction. You know, ignorance. Uh, the statement I put for إِن كَانَ لَا كُفْرَ فِيهِ um, Where is it incorrect? Uh, why is this jumla incorrect? Go on then, genius. Go on then, knucklehead. Go on, see way. You're, you're the expert. So explain where it's wrong. Explain where it's wrong. So I didn't use Google Translate. But just say I did. I use Google Translate. Okay? Where it said for Inkana La Kufra Fihi. Where, where's the mistake? Huh? Where's the mistake? Go on then, thick skull Najdi. So, Hassan Jimrani, you are an absolute idiot. You are thick skulled. You are a liability to Alice and the World Jama'ah. Sort yourself out. This is my last response to you. Write whatever you want. You are an ultra Najdi closet takfiri. And the fact of the matter is, your spiritual godfather is the forefather of ISIS. Okay, and stop crying about I put your family at risk. You want to be the big bad Najdi and you got slapped across the face with facts. Takfiri tendency part three. Takfiri tendency part four is coming. And you know, you're, you know you've taken an ally in this, mate. You've taken an ally. I could be ignorant. My Arabic could be poor. I could be an absolute jahil. Call me what you want. It does not change the fact that Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab and the early Dawah to Najdiyah are the forefather of ISIS. And the phenomenon that we are seeing today is due to their methodology. Like it or lump it, it's fact. Take that out, son. <laughs> كل السعائر باديه في موقف ما اعظم لم تخف منهم خافيه والهول فيهم قد بدا الشمس منهم دانيه في موقف ما اعظم لم تخف منهم خافيه والهول فيهم قد بدا الشمس منهم دانيه